The Black Ops 6 Beta Early Access is playable this week, so let's go through all the upcoming details you need to know for the big day. First off, this is the first time for as long as I can remember where there is no platform exclusivity. Where in the past years, PlayStation owners would get a few days head start or sometimes even whole weekends worth of gameplay. This year, it doesn't matter if you play on PC, Battle.net or Steam, PlayStation or Xbox, which overall is a massive win. The dates for the beta weekends are shown on screen now, and as you can see, the first weekend of the beta for early access players to enjoy is nearly a week long, going from the 30th of August straight after COD Next all the way to the 4th of September, and then only a day or so downtime before the open beta begins. To get the early access part of the beta, all you have to do is pre-order any of the digital versions of the game. You do not have to buy the Vault Edition, the standard 60-70 pound version of the game will grant you access to the beta, meaning you can have time to check it out, and if you like it, you can just pay the extra at a later date and upgrade to the Vault Edition if you so like. The actual beta itself is going to have its own download of sorts, where we should be receiving codes for this at some point on the 28th of August, where there will also be an option to preload the game from tomorrow on the 28th, so even if you have terrible internet, you should be able to get this downloaded in that 48 hour window before the beta starts with no problems whatsoever. Now what can we expect to see in the beta itself, what maps, what weapons, what can we use, perks, etc. In this sense, it won't stray too far away from what we typically get. You can of course unlock different skins and emblems just by playing and leveling up through either weekend. We know at launch there will be 16 brand new 6v6 maps so we can probably expect to see four or five of these maps through the weekends with the standard team deathmatch domination hardpoint style of game modes and then later on if they decide to do a few updates they may add some 2v2 modes and search and destroy etc we know with the full game we're getting the classic prestige system back where you level up to 55 then choose to reset your rank and all your weapons to zero and grind your way through the ranks but if you didn't know already your beta level will not carry over to the full game and will be fully reset so just something to keep in mind we can expect to see a handful of new weapons during this weekend too, along with limited perks, attachments, and normally camos are held back for the full game too, so we'll have to wait on those. To stay up to date with everything going on with Call of Duty and Warzone, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, and as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day.